What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Specialist and Battlefield 2042 and the community for the most part is unhappy with the Specialist situation. Now of course you know all know that I have been a long time Battlefield player if you've been around the channel for a while. If you are new I've played all the Battlefield titles so I do understand why a lot of people in the community feel like it's kind of getting rid of class identity. I'm not in love with the whole idea of specialists, but I don't absolutely hate them either. Uh, but I do get, like I said, that it's getting rid of that, you know, kind of class identity idea because you don't have just a medic now that can carry, you know, med packs. Uh, anyone can carry a med pack. Same goes for ammo. Same goes for a rocket launcher. So it's kind of broken up the way the, you know, class identity has been in battlefield for a long time. But in my opinion, also, I think the variety of different things we can have within classes now is a bit different, uh, but in in ways, I, I kind of like it in ways I don't. Now, of course, we don't know what other specialists right now or what the other specialists are going to look like when the game releases. I think there's going to be six more once the game is out, plus the ones we had in the beta. In my opinion, it did kind of hurt for uh, the the medic side. There was not a lot of medics in the beta. I did see some here and there on PS5, and of course, you know, everyone's playing experience may be different on their own platform. But I felt like since everyone could carry, um, you know, med kits and you know throw those down for your squad mates or you know everyone else in in the lobby, your teammates, uh, and then of course you have the squad revive. It felt like a lot of people were not running medics. Uh, of course, a lot of people were running you know launchers to blow up tanks and things and they didn't have to be an engineer of course each class or each specialist has its own particular you know like thing so you know the medic class has the actual syringe they can heal you to full uh, when they revive you unlike you know your teammate if you squad revive you're not reviving them to full of course the what we used to call the support class has the little you know minigun machine gun that you put down on the ground the turret uh, of course the assault class has the grapple hook but besides that one individual thing for each class, everything else is pretty much shareable between any of the other classes. My biggest concern or the biggest issue I have with specialists right now is the visuals. I have talked about this in several other videos and it's still a topic I think that the, the community is not happy with. I think it's something that DICE is definitely going to have to fix. Uh, they have already mentioned changing just the camo colors for each side depending on what side you're on. But I'm really kind of confused at why we don't have more customization when it comes to specialists. I know in the future we will have skins, you know, for your weapons. You'll have skins for your characters. But I've kind of mentioned this before. Once the first battle pass comes out, uh, we'll probably have a couple skins that we can get. And there's probably going to be some really, really popular skins for each character. And just because those characters, uh, you know, may look the same now. And people think, well, once the game is out, we have more specialists. The, it won't be as bad, you know, because there'll be more variety. But at the same time, if those camos are really popular and people are trying to unlock those particular camos, everyone's still going to look the same eventually because they're all going to be wearing those new camos. So I think they need to add more customization. We've had more customization in the past. We all have played Battlefield for a long time now. We've noticed that there has been customization over the years where you can make your character uh, look different individually. Of course, Battlefield 5 was one thing they did really well. I'm not a huge Battlefield 5 fan, as most of you know, but that was one thing they did really well. The characters you had uh, the option of using, or the classes you had the option of using, you could definitely customize the way they looked to kind of tailor them to be more of a, uh, a thing that was more personalized, I guess, uh, than just kind of a base default looking, uh, you know, class or, you know, specialist or whatever you want to call them now. Uh, I, I think that DICE needs to implement that back in the game unless they're planning on giving us a lot of camos and a lot of, way to un a lot of ways to unlock different camos for each individual specialist uh, when the game releases. And I'm not sure if that's going to be a thing right off the bat. I'm sure we'll have to wait a little bit before the first battle pass comes out. But I think there needs to be some ways to do some different things. I'm hoping they will add kind of those special skins back in like they had in Battlefield 5, you know, where they kind of had their own personality and their own little backstory and the skin was completely different than anything else in the game. Maybe they'll do something like that. But I do understand why people don't like the uh, specialist uh, because of it's kind of losing class identity. But my biggest issue with it is visuals. And it's just kind of hard to pick out who you're fighting against when everyone looks the same. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.